just touch on the one. Okay, so that's now opened. I'm just going to rename the threshold just to make it a bit more clear, just to convert it to THR threshold. Now, with the original film, I'm just going to show you the sleeping bag. And I want to find a bit of the movie where I'm not there. Um, so there's a, some opportunity at the beginning and also at the end. Basically, you want to get an, an un I'll say contaminated image of the background so that we can um, um, use it as our transparent f uh, effect. In, um, th this is the region which will be shown through the transparent sleeping bag. So to do this we need to um, copy and paste that as a clipboard image and then we want to um, create a stack of the same number of slices as our movie and also the same dimension. Now at the moment the stack has zero pixel intensity but by adding our clipboard image to every frame so we select the untitled as image 1 and the clipboard as image 2 and then add to each one we can create a stack of this um, static background image So close those now, and so at the moment we've got our original movie, our stack of our static background image, which we'll just rename as background, and of course our threshold named THR. And now we're going to start using the image calculator and the AND operator to isolate either the background or the sleeping bag region from the two movies. So what the AND operator does basically is says Anything which isn't zero uh, from the threshold and the um, relative pixels in the in the movie, um, combine those and show show them in a new movie. So uh, it'd be easier to describe once the movie's done. Essentially, any pixel that's in the um, background movie, which is also in the um, threshold movie is shown. So you can see the background is um, displayed in a sort of silhouette of the sleeping bag. Okay, so now we want to create do the opposite effect by inverting the threshold and applying that with an AND operator to the original movie. So this will show everything in that movie which is in the inverted threshold. So essentially all the pixels during the duration of the movie which were not the bright red sleeping bag. So just wait a few seconds for that to be produced. Okay, so now you should see that the sleeping bag is now completely black, as if those pixels have been deleted. So we've got two um, movies now uh, which complement each other. Pixels from one are not present in the other. and when we combine these two movies, it will appear as though in the moving image, in the dynamic um, movie, that the sleeping bag appears to be transparent in that pixels from the background appear to magically be on the front. So here's the final movie and I'll display that in a, in a little while once I've finished um, saving this film. Uh, and that was performed using the image, cal uh, image calculator and the ab operator. The add operator. Okay, so just file, save that as an AVI. And then you can use it in any software you like. But essentially it's ready to go. Okay, so hopefully that was uh, straightforward enough for you to follow. Um, there'll be more details of the software and how I did it uh, in the details panel. Um, I'd be very keen to hear your feedback and also if you want to try it out and show me a movie I'd be very pleased to see that. Um, using image J in virtual dub is a, it's a quick technique and it's also free to do which I know we all love. and. Um, 
you know you can do this to your family videos or you can do it on other um, YouTube films It'd be uh, quite interesting to see what you can come up with if you if you're keen um, and I hope that you enjoyed it and uh, I'm sure you'll see some more movies from me soon okay uh, thanks very much cheers bye